Hi, welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a member of staff will present a different work of art from the museum's collection and pose some discussion questions. Please check back each day at 10 a.m. for a new artwork and a new discussion question. My name is Alex Adi Callen, and I am the coordinator for the Rosenthal Education Center, the museum's hands-on, family-friendly art center. I've chosen to highlight Hiawatha's Marriage, a marble sculpture by Edmonia Lewis, completed in 1871. I've chosen to highlight this artwork because of the artist's inspiring life story. Edmonia Wildfire Lewis was the first woman of African American and Native American heritage to achieve international fame as a fine artist. She was born in New York to a father of Haitian descent and an Ojibwa mother around 1844. She spent much of her childhood with her, with her mother's nomadic Ojibwa tribe after being orphaned at the age of eight. She eventually attended Oberlin College in Northern Ohio. At Oberlin, Lewis changed her Ojibwa name, Wildfire, to Admiri Edmonia and began studying art. However, she faced major discrimination from both the college and townsfolk and was ultimately not allowed to graduate. Despite all of her earlier hardships, Edmonia was determined to become a sculptor. Edmonia moved to Boston, Massachusetts in 1864 and began sculpting famous abolitionists. Her work became very popu popular among the anti-slavery activists of the time, and the sales of her abolitionist busts funded her move to Rome, Italy to further her career as a sculptor. In Italy, her career took off. According to a New Orleans newspaper at the time, the height of her fame, she was receiving commissions as high as $50,000 that's over $1.2 million today. Much of Edmonia's work depicts the African American and Native American plight, although unfortunately not many of her sculptures have survived to today, which makes us very fortunate to be able to share Hiawatha's marriage on long-term loan in Gallery 271. Hiawatha's marriage is one in a series of sculptures inspired by the 1855 epic poem, The Song of Hiawatha by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. The sculpture captures a moment in the poem directly after Menehaha of the Dakota people agrees to marry Hiawatha of the Ojibwa people, thereby uniting their communities in peace. Carved in white marble, Lewis captures the love and respect between the couple. Lewis's interest in the Song of Hiawatha may have been sparked by the Ojibwa background she shares with its subjects. Much of Edmonia's art was inspired by her heritage how are you inspired by your culture and your ancestry? How do you choose to express it? Thanks for joining me. See you later.